Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I have a huge drugstore haul for you guys, and this is almost all new. Actually, it is all new products. From everything from Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, I have some NYC, I have some Maybelline, and some CoverGirl. So let's get into this. I'm so excited to show you guys everything I found. These are not reviews on these products. I'm just currently trying some of them for the first time. I'm wearing a couple of them on my face right now. And I will tell you guys what those are as I'm going through them. Keep an eye out because some of these products will be featured in a Thursday Treasure or Trash coming up really soon. Let's start with NYC because I was probably the most surprised by these. I got three of the NYC City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Colors. City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color. I have it in three colors. This is... Park Slope Peach, and then I have it in South Fairy Berry, and I have it in Ballroom Blush. So let me just show you guys. I am wearing the Ballroom Blush right now underneath a gloss. These are so pigmented. I want to like try and swatch them on camera, but I haven't mastered that angle yet. So this is Ballroom Blush. Let me actually do a bigger swatch than that for you. This is Ballroom Blush. These are so pigmented, guys, and so creamy. They feel really hydrating on your lips. They don't have super great wear. I would say four hours with no eating or drinking. The more red-toned one is South Berry Fairy. I wouldn't say this is a berry color. This looks almost like a pinky red to me, but it's really pretty. I am really liking this one. And then the peach one is a really gorgeous kind of peachy nude. Park Slope Peach. Those are the three colors I got on these. I so I find that these have about four hours of wear and then they start to kind of fade off in the inside center of your lip. As far as hydration goes, they are super hydrating. They don't feel dry at all on your lips. They do bleed a little bit if you're not wearing anything else. Like I wore the pink one yesterday with no other makeup on and so it did bleed a little into the bottom. I find that when I put foundation on like I have on right now, it doesn't bleed at all. So I'm really liking these. While we're on the topic of lip pencils, let's talk about the Essence Be Loud collection. I think these are being sold at um, Fred Meyer in the States. I have the color Pink Me and the color Apricot. Apricot is like a really kind of sheer wash of like a peachy pink color. That one is very sheer. And then Pink Me is a brighter pink, but these are a little bit more sheer than the NYC. They're more of like a gloss than an actual pigmented lip pencil. So that is Pink Me and that is Apricot. So the last two lip pencils I got are from the new Wet n Wild Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color Collection. I haven't tried either of these yet either. The first color I got is Red D or not, like R-E-D-D-Y or not. And the second one I got is Pinky Promise. Ready or not, I knew I was gonna love. It's just a beautiful, very gorgeous, like pure red color. Pinky Promise was kind of a stab in the dark for me. It's a very shimmery color, so I think it'll be really pretty, but I'm not 100% sure how I will like this on my lips. It, it does have a definite sheen to it, pinky promise. I'm wearing on my lips right now Bombshell Blush from NYC and this amazingly gorgeous gloss. These are new from L'Oreal and I forget what they're called. I forget what these are called, they're new from L'Oreal. I'm assuming these are supposed to be like the like Rimmel Apocalypse, kind of like a lip gloss. Oh, or the Maybelline Color Sensationals, kind of like a lip gloss lipstick formula. I got color number 202, Coral Encore, which is a beautiful coral color. And 303, which is Rouge Allegro, which is what I'm wearing on my lips. It's a beautiful pinky red. These are definitely not as pigmented as the Rimmel Apocalypse, but they are definitely very similar in consistency. To the Maybelline, I think it's like the liquid elixir, the ones that come in like the little jar that look like lipsticks, but they're not. So that is Coral Encore, and that is Rouge Allegro. Beautiful, these are so moisturizing. I throw this over top of the NYC. I've worn this color combination twice now, this um, NYC lip crayon and the Rouge Allegro, and I'm just loving the way it looks. Another really neat new product from L'Oreal is the concealer I'm wearing today. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer Corrector Multi Action, and I'm in the color Fair. This thing is the coolest thing ever. I love roller balls for your eyes. I find that they really help with the whole soothing of the eye. So this is a roller ball on the inside, and then you just run it under your eye, and then you can just pat it in. I'm loving this. This has been the only concealer I have been reaching for since I got it. I'm just adoring this. This is such an amazing product. 
I want to talk about what I have on my eyes right now. I'm only wearing one thing on my eyes right now because I'm really trying to try it out. This is the new CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadow. This is in the color Platinum Club, which is a beautiful kind of silver purple. I'm trying to test it out to see if it'll crease. I'll give you guys an actual swatch of it because you're not going to be able to see it on my eye. There's only three colors of this that I saw. There was this silver color, purple silver that I got. Then there was kind of a green called the color of money. And then there was a lighter toned color. It was kind of like a champagne, I think. And I don't know if this product is a test launch and they're trying to see how these three shades do, but that is the shade I'm wearing right now. Like it's so pigmented. It's super buildable, very creamy and smooth. Like I said, it's kind of a silver, but it has like a purple undertone to it. It's really pretty. Uh, Wet n Wild has also come out with these um, Mega Rocks glitter nail colors. I got mine in Jam Session, which is a purple, Creative Control, which is a pink, and Slap the Base, which is a green. I did take a look at these in stores, and they actually seem to have quite a good like mixture of glitter. I don't know how to explain that, but when you pull out the wand, there's lots of little glitters on it. Sometimes I find with this bigger, chunkier glitter, you don't get like a bunch of glitter on the wand, and you're constantly trying to pat it onto the hand. But this does come out with like a whole bunch of glitter on the wand. So I think these will be really good to use. Once I try them, I will let you know. And you guys know I'm a nail polish glitter fanatic. So those are really cool. They caught my eye. While we're on the topic of nail polish, let's talk about the new Maybelline Color Show line for the spring. Wow, the colors are so pretty. This one is Pretty in Peach, which is just that, a really beautiful peach color. And this one, I hope the camera does it justice. This is Frozen Over. This is Frozen Over. It's a gorgeous blue with like a multi-tonal sparkle underneath. It's kind of like a pink opalescent. It's beautiful, so I'm really excited to try that. Now, the last bunch of products I have sitting in front of me are all from one brand, and I'm really mad at myself because I didn't take pictures of some of these before I used them, so the sheen that was once on them is gone, and you'll understand in a minute. So Physicians Formula has launched a huge line of new products. I'm so excited because I love Physicians Formula. The very first thing I picked up was the Organic Wear CC Cream. I picked this up for me and for my mom. For me, I got it in the color light. For my mom, I got it in light medium. This is 100% natural origin CC Cream, and I think 70% of it is organic. So there's nothing bad in this. It's just amazing. The packaging is so pretty. The texture is really thick. This is all I'm wearing on the face today with this powder that I'm going to talk about in one minute. And this is the look that I'm getting. So it's still showing your skin through, but it's not super dense and it's very lightweight and it looks amazing. I'm loving this. So the next product was what I said I'm wearing. I'm wearing a combination of these two products right now is the, the Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder in Oh So Radiant. I love this. This actually had a silver kind of sheen over top, like an overlay, it was sprayed on. Once I wiped that off, it's just a beautiful highlighting powder. It has a little bit of sheen to it, but it's very fine. Looks like this on the hand, you can see. See, it has a little bit of a sheen. It also has an SPF of 20, and it, this one isn't translucent. I'm loving it. Now, the next thing that they came up with is a nude wear line. I got the two blushes and one bronzer from that line. First off the packaging, oh wow. Like, you can't beat this. They look like little storybooks. They have rose gold bows on them. I love Physicians Formula packaging. It comes with a brush and a mirror in the back. And this product, like that one, has that overlay. But like I said, as soon as you swipe it, it goes away. I've already used this one. Yeah, as soon as you swipe it, it does go away. So let's talk about the bronzer first. I haven't used it yet. This is in the color medium because the light looked really light. The medium looks like it has three very medium tone colors and then of course that silver kind of overspray. I think this is gonna be really pretty. I'm gonna see if I can get a swatch this from the middle there. Even this looks like it's gonna be fairly light. Like, even the medium is looking to be fairly light. So this is supposed to be a very natural feeling makeup. So once I get some use out of this, I'll let you guys know what I think. I am wearing the, the Nude Wear Glowing Nude Blush in Natural. I'm wearing this one today. And then I also got Rose, which has more pinky tones. So we'll look at Rose first, because it still has its pretty overlay on. So the Rose one has like a brighter pink, a medium pink, a softer baby blue pink over here, and then a regular like just soft pink up there. I think when you blend all these together, you're gonna get a gorgeous shade, but more than that, if you just wanted to use like the brighter pinks down here, you can. It is big enough that a brush would go through just those. The natural one is what I'm wearing today. I'll give you guys a swatch of each color individually. 
So that is the four colors individually, all beautiful shades of pink. Now, the nude wear line is supposed to be a very soft line, so with all of these shadows, I say, would require some buildup. This is what the natural looks like. It's gorgeous. I am wearing it today. Just a soft, light touch on the hand. What I also like about Sessions Formula products is they can get very messy, but you just give it a quick wipe off, and then everything goes back to its normal colors. It's a very natural looking blush, which I think is a line that we definitely needed in the drugstore. I think a lot of people are always after pigmentation, but for the general consumer, something that's a little bit easier to wear, something that's a little less bright, is a lot more consumer friendly than like those bright pigmented blushes we've been seeing in the fall. So I think they did a really good job with this line. I suggest if you haven't picked this up yet, you go out and take a look at it because I really think this line is going to sell out. So that is it, that is all for this drugstore haul. I am so excited about all of the new launches. I definitely will be picking up some more of these. I am in love with these L'Oreal liquid lipsticks. They are amazing. At least I think that's what they're called. I have no idea. Keep an eye out because I will be doing further and more in-depth reviews on each of these products coming up. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.